Hey everybody, it's Braden from Smith & Jones and I'm excited today because we just released our 2019 Healthcare Marketing Trends Playbook and this year we're covering 13 important trends that are going to affect everybody in healthcare marketing in the next couple of years. Um, if you want your copy of the playbook, you can download it at the link you see on your screen. Um, today in this video, I'm going to talk about one trend in particular and that's this. Websites are kind of dying. Um, that's hard for me to say. I got my start in marketing by building websites, but I've seen evidence of this across every major platform on the web. Um, they all seem to be keeping more and more traffic to themselves. Um, let me show you what I mean. Here's a slide from our recent trends report. Uh, this is a Google search result for the word flu. Um, you can see right in the search results there's symptoms, there's treatment options, all kinds of stuff. Uh, this kind of information is great for users who are, you know, maybe have, maybe have the flu or maybe are wondering if they have the flu. But it's not so good for providers who ultimately would like somebody who thinks they have the flu to click onto their website and find out. Google, by building all the information right into the search results, makes the click unnecessary. Um, and this is just one example. Facebook is doing something similar. Um, for evidence of that, you can look at your own website traffic. Uh, check out the amount of traffic you've gotten from Facebook in the last two years and just look. And I bet if you're like most of our clients, you'll see that it's gotten down and down and down over time. Um, there's lots of other examples. LinkedIn is doing this. Instagram is doing this. Pinterest is doing it. They're all finding their own ways to keep web traffic to themselves. Uh, big picture, this is a monumental shift. Uh, and it's going to it's gonna require us to make some huge changes to the way we approach our strategy. Um, Ultimately, over the long term, we're going to have to figure out what it means to compete in a post-website world. Um, but in the short term, really our play is to optimize our presences. You know, we have to make sure that our Google presence and our Facebook presence are uh, full, uh, complete, and have as much information as patients would want on them. Um, beyond that, we should be leveraging these platforms for all that they're worth. Google has some interesting ad extensions that can help um, booking appointments be a lot easier for patients. Um, and Facebook has a number of new engaging formats that can help uh, bring what a patient needs into the application, you know, eliminating the, the need for the click. We've all been measuring website traffic as a KPI for a long time, um, and I know this causes you to rethink that, but the sooner we can get used to this new idea, uh, the sooner we're able to really leverage those platforms like Google, Facebook, to, to build our brand in the way that our patients expect them to. Um, thanks for listening today. We'd love to hear what sort of trends you're seeing out in the market, out in the healthcare marketing world. Um, hit us up on Twitter. Our handle is at Smith and Jones one. Thanks again.